Hey everyone, welcome back to Awesome or Pop. Marshall's feeling a little sick today, so I brought him to the toy hospital. Let's go inside. Marshall feels sick. When can Marshall see Doc McStuffins? Okay, Marshall, we rushed over here because you said you felt sick, but you need to tell me more. Where do you feel sick? Marshall tummy hurts. Marshall dizzy. Marshall sick. Okay, okay. I think you have a stomach bug or something. I'm not sure. I'll check us in, and then hopefully you can see the doctor soon. Uh-oh, Marshall. The front desk said we might have to wait for a bit. The doc is really busy today. Marshall need to see doctor now! Ah, uh, sorry Marshall, I wish I could help. Um, let me see, hold up. There might be something in this waiting room that'll help. Oh look, Marshall! The hospital must be a fan of Paw Patrol too. I found an imagining activity book for us to do. Oh yes, yes, can we please do that right now? Marshall needs to get mind off Tommy or else Marshall might cause accident. Yikes, we do not want to cause an accident. Okay, Osmer fans. Let's help Marshall get his mind off the pain and help him with this Imagine Ink book. Get your thinking caps on. Alright, if you're new to Imagine Ink, let me give a brief intro. All you need is the Imagine Ink marker that they provide to solve each page. This marker is also completely mess free. It'll only work on the Imagine Ink papers. The first page is a little practice page, so let's work on that. Use your imagining marker to search for and reveal hidden images. Now let's finish coloring the rest of this page. Okay, let's work on our first activity. This German Shepherd police pup is a natural leader. Color the picture to find out who it is. Do you already know? If you don't, let's find out now. It's Chase the Police Pup. Here's a closer look. Okay, what's next? Let's dig it. Color the picture. Can you find a wrench, rubble's digger, a bone, and a hammer? Okay, let's color the picture first. Take a closer look. Let's start by finding the wrench. The wrench is right here. Now let's look for Rubble's digger. The digger is right here. Now we have to look for the bone. Here's Rubble's bone. Okay. Last but not least, let's find the hammer. The hammer is right here. Nice! We found everything! Alright, let's color the rest of this page and then move on. Awesome! What's next? Someone else's trash is often his treasure. Color the picture to find out who it is. If you don't know, you'll find out very soon. It's Rocky the Eco Pup. Here's a closer look. Okay, let's move on. Color the pictures. Which sky matches the one in the box? Let's color the real sky first. Okay, let's color sky A. Now let's color sky B. And let's color Sky C. Take a closer look. Which sky matches the one in the box? A, B, or C? I think it's B. Let's check the answer. Nice! The answer is B. Great job if you got it right. Now let's color the rest. Beautiful. Let's do another activity. Who is the water-loving Labrador pup and the youngest Paw Patrol member? Color the picture to find out who it is. Alright, let's find out! It's Zuma, the water pup! 
Marshall, the doctor will see you now. Oh no, we still have a few more pages, but I guess we can finish it when he comes for a checkup another time. Marshall's pretty sick, so we should see the doctor. Marshall can't hold anymore. Marshall, super dizzy. Uh-oh, uh that's not a good sign. Sorry for the wait, but I'm here now. Did you eat anything recently that could be upsetting your stomach? Um, Marshall don't know. Marshall eat anything, so it could be anything. Hmm, I'll have to talk to your guardian, but let's take you to the back for now and run some tests. Hey, Marshall, we're gonna do our best to make sure you're okay. Let me start by checking your vitals. Don't think you have a fever, but let me get an exact reading. Yep, your temperature is fine, so that's not an issue. Let me quickly check your heart. Heart seems normal too. Let me check your ears. Could be an infection or something like that. Hmm, your ears look perfectly fine too. Not quite sure what's wrong just by looking at the vitals, but I'll send these charts over to Doc so that she can get a better look. Hey Marshall, unfortunately it looks like you got food poisoning. Not to worry though, because I'll give you a shot and some medicine to make that go away. Hey Marshall, heard you have food poisoning. That is not fun. But we can definitely cure it. Let me start by giving you a shot. There we go. Now let me wrap a band-aid around. Now let me give you some quick cure. This should help with the immediate pain you're feeling. Perfect. Now I'm going to feed you some niblets before you head off. You can't eat anything until your stomach starts to feel better again. I'm going to say one to two days. The doc will know better, but these niblets should provide enough nutrients until then. Nice. Hope you feel better soon. Okay, it seems like the quick cure worked. You look a lot better. The shot will take some time to kick in, and then you'll be fully recovered. Marshall feel much better. Stomach's still grumbly, but Marshall not dizzy. I'm so glad. Just get some rest, and I told your guardian all the details on how to help you with your recovery. You'll be in good hands. Thank you, Doc. Wow, that was quite the scare. I'm glad Doc McStuffins was able to help you out. Marshall never want to get food poisoning again. Marshall want to go home and sleep. Yeah, let's go do that. And don't worry, I'll make sure you never get food poisoning again. Oh no, Bluey, hang in there. Not sure if you got some sort of allergic reaction, but hopefully Doc McStuffins can cure you. It does feel a bit itchy, and it's really uncomfortable. Can we see the Doc soon? Wait right here, let me check us in. Ugh, got some bad news. The Doc has a bunch of other toy patients right now. We might have to wait for a bit, but I found this Paw Patrol Imagine Ink book that I did with Marshall last time I was here. This seemed to get his mind off the pain, so maybe it'll work for you too. Okay, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. If I don't do anything, I might start scratching my face like crazy. Okay, yeah, let's get started on this right away. If you missed part one of this Imagine Ink activity, feel free to watch our doctor's visit with Marshall. If you don't want to watch, here's a look at all of the pages we've worked on so far. Okay, here's where we left off. Rough Rough Rescue. Color the picture. Can you find a firefighter badge, Marshall's fire truck, three flames, and Ryder? Okay, here we go. Take a closer look. All right, let's start by looking for the firefighter badge. The firefighter badge is right here. Okay, now let's look for Marshall's fire truck. The fire truck is right here. Alright, now let's look for three flames. There's one, two, and three. Now let's look for Ryder. Nice! We found everything. Let's move on. Who is a tough, gruff construction bulldog with the heart of gold? Color the picture to find out who it is. It's Rubble the Construction Pup. 
here's a closer look. Alright, what's next? Color the picture. Then find the one path that will lead Zuma to the hole where he can bury his bone. Let's color Zuma first. Alright, let's start by checking path A. Mm, nope. Let's check path B. Not this one. Then it must be path D. Awesome! Great work, everyone! Now let's color the rest of this page. Nice! Okay, what's next? This pup's gotta fly. Color the picture to find out who it is. Here we go! It's Sky the Flying Pup. Let's move on. These paws uphold the laws. Color the picture. Can you find a caution sign, Chase's police truck, two patches, and a traffic cone? Okay, take a closer look. Let's start by looking for the caution sign. Caution sign is right here. Now let's look for Chase's police truck. Okay. Let's look for two patches. There's one here, and the other one is right here. Alright, last but not least, let's look for the traffic cone. Awesome, we found everything. Alright, let's keep on going. A Dalmatian pup that's all fired up. Color the picture to find out who it is. Alright, let's go. It's Marshall the Fire Pup. Nice. Ah, looks like we finished the book. Bluey, the doc will see you now. Oh, perfect. Okay, Bluey, go see Doc McStuffins. Hello there, Bluey. What brings you into the hospital? Hey, Doc. I've been feeling pretty sick this past week and thought it was a common cold, but yesterday my body broke out in hives, and it didn't go away after some rest, so I came here. Oh, yikes. The hives do look a bit scary. I can't diagnose the breakout without running some tests, so let's do a full checkup to see what's wrong. Hey, Bluey. I'm Doc's assistant, and I'm going to help with the checkup. Oh, your forehead is running pretty hot. Let's get an exact reading. Yikes! You do have a really high fever, but this is something we can cure. Now let's check your heartbeat, make sure everything's normal. Yep, your heart looks good. Now let me check your ears. An infection inside the ears might have caused the hives breakout. Mmm, nope. Huh, your ears are perfectly fine too. I'm going to assume it's something you ate that caused the hives breakout, but I'll send this report back to Doc and she'll have a better answer. Okay, Bluey, looking at the charts, you have a really high fever, but the rest of your vitals are fine. Try to remember what you ate this past week because you may be allergic to something. We can run more tests next time to find that answer to avoid another breakout. For now, I'll give you a shot for the hives and some medicine to make your fever go down. Oh, I hope you're not allergic to something you really like, Bluey. That would be a shame. I'll be giving you a shot on the arm, but don't worry, this won't hurt. All done. Okay, now let me put on a band-aid. Let's see, we'll give you this pink cross band-aid. There, all better. While we let that shot kick in, let's also give you some medicine for the fever. Okay, now just sit here for a bit. The doc will be back soon. Hey, Bluey. Looks like the shot in medicine worked. You look much better. How are you feeling? Hey, doc. I feel a lot better. I actually don't feel sick anymore, and I think all the hives disappeared from my body. That's great. I'm so glad we were able to cure you right away. Thanks for treating me, doc. 
I'll come back for my allergy test another day, so I'll see you again soon. Wow, you look much better, Bluey. Yeah, I did have a really high fever, but the doc was able to cure me. Also, I have to come back because I might be allergic to something. Doc McStuffins wants to run more tests. Oh, let's hope it's not something serious. Well, I'll bring you back here next time. But for now, let's go back home. I'll make you a nice treat. Awesome or pop fans! Thank you so much for watching. We can't do this without you. If you're new to the channel and became a fan, click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff. And if you want to be the first person to watch our next video, hit that notification bell to have a chance. See ya!